Hey runners, happy Monday. Uh, it is September 11th and uh, we are all thinking of those um, who were affected by the uh, terrorist attack back in um, 2001, uh, exactly 22 years ago. So our uh, thoughts and prayers with uh, the families and those who uh, lost their lives um, on that uh, tragic day, but it is definitely uh, a day we will never forget. So um, we hope that everyone is doing well and um, you know, our thoughts and prayers. Uh, I do have some good news today though. Uh, thank you first for coming to uh, watch the video. Uh, we recently, my wife and I, uh, did a race in Tucson which is uh, about an hour and a half south of here. Um, we did the, it was the TMC uh, 10K and 5K. My wife did the 10K and I did the 5K. Uh, two years ago we did this race, I did the 10K. It is a very, very tough race. Um, lots of hills, but it's very scenic uh, views of the western part of Tucson. Uh, you know, I did go to school at the University of Arizona and lived in Tucson for a few years. And uh, I love that city. It is a little smaller than uh, Phoenix, a little slower pace, but the people there are so nice and the running community, um, just a fantastic uh, group of people down there. So anyways, I will uh, definitely go over that here shortly. I uh, wanted to recap my uh, running week as uh, the calendar indicates we are into the third week of Philadelphia uh, half marathon training and uh, I am pleased to report that things are going well so um, anyways it is a hundred and two degrees here um, and whew, it's been a rough summer I believe we've had 55 straight days or not straight days 55 days of 110 or hotter temperatures in Phoenix. That has surpassed the uh, record of, I want to say it was 52 days that we had that. On average, we have about 21 days of 110. Uh, it's been brutal, but we are cooling down. Our average highs for this time of the year is 102. Uh, we're going to be about 104 degrees here in Ahwatukee. Um Greater Phoenix or Central Phoenix, it's supposed to get up to about 108. So, whew, it is coming down a little bit closer to, uh, you know, normal temps with a 20-30% chance of rain tomorrow. So, we'll see what happens. But, anyways, uh, as far as the training is concerned, yes, this is the third week. And last week was a good week. Um, just to put things in perspective, last week I had a shorter or a, more of a cut down uh, week just with the race and did uh, 26.8, almost 27 miles for the week. Uh, I run six days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, take a rest day on Friday and run Saturday, Sunday. Of course, those can change, but that seems to be working for me. I uh, started off the week. I actually, Labor Day Monday, I decided to do speed work, and I did uh, 1K by 2K at 800, and uh, 2 by 4. Uh, the 1Ks were at 5K pace, and the uh, 5K, I'm sorry, the 800s were at 5K, and the 400, um, slightly faster 5K. That went uh, pretty well. Um, just a little, you know, turnover for the race that was coming up. I wanted to do it on Mondays, which I typically do Tuesdays. Um, I know it's coming off of a long run Saturday, but it gives me a little extra time before the race on Saturday, which I'm glad I did. Um, and after that, you know, I did a recovery run on Tuesday of five miles, uh, easy, and then an easy run uh, on uh, Wednesday, 4.25, and another easy run day, four miles. And then a shakeout run on uh, Saturday of 3.1 miles. Um, and then I did uh, the race. So, you know, heading into uh, race weekend, I was feeling a little bit sluggish. Um, 
Earlier in the week on Tuesday, we had some really good temperatures. I believe it got down to 73 with very, very low humidity, like under 20%. Dew point was down around the 40s. It felt really nice. Tuesday, Wednesday felt nice. Thursday, it was nice, but it was starting to get up there. I think we were close to 78, 80 degrees. And then Saturday, Sunday, we had some pretty hot temperatures in Phoenix as well as Tucson. I think Tucson got up to like 106 and Phoenix got up to 114, 113 for the weekend. However, we didn't really have any humidity down there in Tucson for the race, um, but it was 80 degrees or so at the start. Uh, and it's a hilly course, which doesn't make it any easier. <laughs> but, um, you know, we were going to go out there and do our best. So we get there on uh, race morning on uh, on Sunday. We checked in the hotel Saturday, um, just kind of relaxed, really. Just kind of laid in bed, watched a little football, got some dinner, brought it back. Um, had a nice, uh, you know, uh, night before race sleep. And then Sunday morning, we're only five minutes away where the hotel is. We've got a great little spot we like to go to, and it's five minutes away. We get there, um, the porta pots um, weren't delivered, <laughs> which, uh, as a runner, you know, we like to, you know, go to the bathroom before we start our race. Uh, fortunately, there was a building uh, that had uh, bathrooms, and I just felt bad for. Uh, the race director Randy who always puts on with him and his wife uh, Tia they do a great job of these races this was obviously out of their control um, it was on the company that was supposed to deliver the porta pots and never did but we got to use the bathroom and the race started a little bit later um, about 6:30 for the 10k and then 6:40 for the 5k so about 15 minutes later or so uh, my wife took off. I was cheering her on, wishing her the best, and then about 10 minutes later, I got to the line. There was a decent chance that I could win the Masters uh, division. This isn't a very competitive 5K. If it was, there would be no chance for me to be even close. Um, I think I was third Masters overall. And let me back up a little bit. For those of you who don't know what Masters uh, is, uh, if you're a master's runner, it simply means that you're 40 years or older, so you get kind of categorized into the master's division. Some races, they break it off like that. Other races, they don't. They just do by age group. But um, this race, they did uh, honor the um, uh, uh, master's, and if you won the master's, either men or women, uh, you got $50, which is cool. So um, there was a chance that I would possibly win it just based on you know the times in the last year I wasn't counting on it but I was gonna run you know my best uh, this course is very hilly like I said at the beginning it starts out basically like going up a slight hill you make a right turn you go up a hill um, to the roundabout then you make a left and you slightly uphill you get to the traffic light you make a right and it's slightly uphill and then you go down and you go up again and then you turn around at the 1.55 mark and the second half is quicker, but <clears throat> for some reason I really struggle going uphill. And typically I don't struggle that much and I don't feel it as much. You know, I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. We train in hills here uh, in our backyard, but my wife and I both kind of struggle going up the hill. Um, my first mile I did 818 going up the hill, which for 818, uh, I should feel better um, than I did. I just couldn't get the legs going. And then on the turnaround, when we're starting to go downhill for a little bit before we go uphill again, I just couldn't generate as much turnover in my legs um, as I had hoped to, which was concerning um, because I, I knew that, you know, I'm going to be slower going uphill, right? Makes sense. But then going downhill, I should be able to get speed in my legs. So the second mile, I got 817 on uh, my split, and looking at the elevation, it really wasn't that bad on the second mile. You know, sure, at the start of the second mile, we're going uphill, but then we're going down. For me to be one second faster than the first mile, which was 818, um, I was not too thrilled about it, but I knew that the second half should be faster um, because of the finish is 
basically all downhill. Um, that three quarters of, or yeah, uh, three tenths of a mile. So I told myself when I get to that roundabout, you know, I'm just going to kind of cut it loose and um, do my best. And I did. Uh, I ran a 742 for the third mile, and I finished in 2501. I was 15th out of uh, 207, I believe. Uh, so it was not a very competitive uh, 5K, not a lot of uh, racers. I want to say the uh, 10K had about 590 some, maybe 600. So it just kind of goes to show how, how much of the field uh, was, was racing the 10K, which is um, the most popular in this particular race. Um, so I crossed the line. I didn't realize how close I was to getting under 25. Could I have gone under 25? Oh, I, I should have. Um, could I have found two more seconds? Uh, you know, hindsight's 2020. Absolutely. Um, had I felt better on the uphill, I think I could have taken off 20 seconds, which seems like a lot. Um, maybe 30, but definitely should have gotten under 25, just because I did not feel that good on the uphill. Um, but... You know, I got $15 uh, gift certificate for winning my age group of 50 to 59. A lot of times they do five-year uh, age groups like 50 to 54, 55 to 59. But uh, I was happy about it. And my wife um, ran sub-43, which was slow for her uh, as, as well. Uh, and she won $50 for uh, winning the overall uh, female Masters. Again, 40 years and older. So... It was a great day for the Weldies. Um, so thankful to be able to race. I've been having a little bit of niggles, a little bit, I think it's a shin splint. So I've been icing it, doing some stretches um, throughout the day and I can continue to do that and monitor it. But uh, overall, I'm so excited. So I've got this nice, uh, I don't know about the color. Let me know down below if you like this brown. I don't know if you can see, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it fits. Uh, I don't know about the color, but Maybe it's just me. And of course, here's the bib from, from the race. Um, would have been nice to run a 734 pace. That would be awesome. That'd be a lot faster than I normally run, but um, I like to have fun with the bibs. Anyways, uh, a, a very uh, a very fun, short, uh, you know, weekend getaway, if you will, uh, down south a little bit. And um, always love it. So they, they put on some great races in Tucson. Tucson has, the majority of their races are hilly and challenging. There's maybe only just a couple of races that are flat. Um, but, yeah, I love it. Um, I'm excited, you know, entering the third week of uh, half marathon training. Um, I'm just, I, I, I love getting up in the morning, uh, going out for my run. It's been a hot summer, let me tell you. I mean, this has been the hottest summer on record for Phoenix, and uh, we, it looks like there's signs of us starting to pull out of it, but uh, probably not until the end of the month, um, until it's really consistent, but we are seeing signs of it where, you know, later in this week we'll be getting into the uh, mid to upper 70s for lows. Uh, but, you know, what, you know, I guess the positive about trading out here in, in you know, three, four months of this heat is you just get through it, um, you don't necessarily always hit your times like you would in the winter or fall or winter, which goes without saying, but you definitely gain fitness, uh, even if it doesn't feel like it. And when October, November, December, January rolls around, I mean, you are ready to, to race. And, um, this race that we're doing in Philadelphia, uh, in the middle of November, uh, we should be ready to go. You know, our, our body should be, um, fine tuned and, you know, training in some cooler weather here. So I'm excited. I, I, I really am. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a recap on last week and uh, how the race went for uh, for us. Uh, so we're, we're very excited um, that we could walk away with uh, winning something as well. That's always a, a treat. Um, I never win anything, really. Uh, I get that little medal back there. That's that's the one uh, on the corner there, if you can see, right there. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it was fun. Uh, let me know uh, how your weekend went. Did you have any races? Uh, if so, where did you race? How did you do? Uh, or maybe you've got an upcoming race uh, next weekend or, you know, sometime um, here in the upcoming fall. I love to hear. Uh, let me know down below. And uh, thanks again for watching. Make it all the way to the end of the video. Have a great day and enjoy your week, guys. Take care.
Bye.